Hello everybody, this is Be Divine from Be Divine Online and this is going to be messages for the week, okay, the week ahead and I hope this finds you awesome. Now I am going to start off with the Archangel Metatron Oracle, bringing the Archangels in right away, making sure that you're grounded and protected as well and let's get some messages from Metatron for all of us. Co-dependency, key to freedom. Okay. Signs from spirit with love. Oh my God, don't you love that? Okay, one more card. Clarity, go within. So this codependency energy here. It's so what I've been noticing a lot um, when people ask questions is that they feel that whatever situation that they are in, there is no possible way out of it. So for example, if you gave someone advice and said, hey, maybe you should try A, B, C, D or E, they would have a reason why A, B, C, D or E doesn't work for them. They would have a defeatist type of an attitude of no, I just have to stay where I am. Um, it's like talking to someone about working and they, their body is broken and then you're suggesting, hey, what about something the way you're working from home? Maybe you need to get off your feet now. Oh, yeah, sure. Well, I'm not young anymore. I might as well just stick it out until I'm old and then I don't know what their theory is, but, you know, you can't move the older you get if you can't move now. So with, that, with an attitude that they have of it's all over, right? So there's an energy here of understanding that each one of you have your own key to your own destiny. Again, put in the comments if you've seen my destiny code, watched it or done it, it's all free. Um, all of my courses that are free are very, very interesting and easy for you to listen to, okay? But they all have the same focus, and that is to break away from things that are holding you back and to focus your vibration on where you want to go and what you want to do. So the key to your freedom is to disconnect yourself, okay? Disconnect yourself from things that no longer serve you. Understand that the angels are part of your spiritual light team. You have more than one. Don't fall for the one guardian angel thing. You have more than one spirit guide. In fact, you can allocate or connect with whoever you would like to be in your spiritual light team, as long as they are from the high vibration, from the loving light, okay? But signs from spirit are with you. This means that your loved ones, especially, are close by. When I see a bird, I always think of a time where in my life when I was living with the Amish if you don't know what the Amish are it's like a religious community and this was in Lancaster in Pennsylvania and my dad had left me there and I didn't know whether he was even coming back for me and I wasn't Amish <laughs> right and this bluebird was on the window and it was singing a song to me and I was looking out the window, I'm crying, and this bird was here singing this song to me. I was just like even more, you know, oh, my God, I was even more crying. And I swear the energy of that bird later in life was my first son. So the spirit can also come in with the songs for you from something that's coming in the future as well. Right, So this is a very, very precious time and a time where we gain clarity by going within and asking the hard questions of the self. Going within, why is something not working in my life? Can I figure out what's not working in my life without blaming myself for it? Let's see. Can you do that? Can you make a list of things that are not working in your life, partnerships that didn't work, and not blame yourself? This is a very, very important thing. 
because if you can look at where you do blame yourself for just about everything, you're going to be able to heal. If you don't look at where your worthiness issues are, you won't heal, you won't open your abundance, you won't open your healing uh, abilities, you won't open your psychic abilities fully, you won't open your counseling skills, your creative skills or any of them because the big massive blockage is that it's always your fault or you could have done this or you could have done that or you wish you'd done this or you wish you had done that and you're always looking backwards. So go within and see if there is a pattern there of something always happening to you and whether you go straight to blaming yourself and trying to figure out what you could have done better. This is a big key, okay? I'm also going to get some cards as well. So those of you who have been telling me what your abilities are, keep it coming because I am creating for you all a course. This is a free course. And I'm also going to create another series. If you're on TikTok, I'm going to create a series. And uh, I'm going to leave it as a surprise, all right? So it'll be coming soon. All right, let's see here. I'm just going to gather some cards first. Okay, I'm going to do some tips for you as well about what to look for in readings. Okay. All right, so this is for the week ahead. And as you can see, the tower has come, but it's on, it's in the sort of in the back part of the week. So this is, to me, this has already occurred. Where we live, there was nothing but terrible weather on the weekend. Tornadoes have been doubling. There's all kinds of people that are displaced at the moment. Electrical faults and issues and things can also happen. So we're really, really needing to understand our strengths here, to understand our inner wisdom. We really need to start to focus more on our ability to do something rather than what we suck at, okay, what we think we're not doing enough of or what we think we could have done better at. You know, you have with the Hierophant, it is always about wisdom, and you know knowledge deep within you and being able to share this with other people so sometimes the crap the tower moments in our life are there so we can share with others and resonate with them and understand them and help them right and what we have is also the knight of cups coming in with the fool which is fantastic because we have the offer we have the new beginning we have a unique way of looking at things, right? And look, when you're doing something right, I know this is going to sound nuts, but when you're doing something right, other people hate it. Why do they hate it when you're doing something right? And this isn't about them hating you. It's they hate the fact that you're able to pick up the pieces from where you were and be able to just be determined to do something else with your life. They hate the fact that they don't have that determination and here you go again. You're going to win. You're going to beat the odds, you know. And I'm all for the underdogs because that's myself, has been. And so, you know, if I always think to myself, you know, the best way in order to um, show them what you've got, if that's what you're looking for, is to succeed, right? And to never quit, no matter what is thrown at you. So the most successful, pe successful people never give up, right? So this is what you're doing. You're focusing in a new way. You have done a lot of work on yourself, right? And look what comes in, the wheel of fortune. So sometimes the shock is that the abundance is suddenly here. Why? Because you've looked at your reactions in life and you've changed them an opportunity moving forward to showcase your skills. So no matter what takes place, know that the angels are with you and working with you all of the time as well as your loved ones. Look for these signs and sequences and always remember how loved and supported you are. 